So Martin, I have this question. Um, so my friend met this uh, guy and he they connected well. The guy did, was constantly like provide taking care of her needs. He mm-hmm. was he was giving her attention. He was giving her love. She felt happy in the relationship. She felt like she could open up to him, and they connected really well on different levels. And so they had a very small sailing relationship, sort of like love at first sight. And it was just like, you know, he not love at first sight, but I guess she she was he was able to communicate so well with her that mm-hmm. she's sort of feeling that way. But then when the relationship started getting better, um, he sort of lost interest and was not able to connect like he was he could do before. Mm-hmm. And he was not giving her the love, the attention that she required from him. And she sort of got used to being someone being there, someone to be dependent on. And now he just pulled back. And mm. now she doesn't, you know, they're sort of stuck in the situation where, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? And this constant, like, you know, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. This mm. is not going right. So, like, what would what you... Like, what do you suggest oh. in a situation like this? What should I advise my friend? What what needs to be done? Yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of romance first, and now yeah. she's really confused, yeah. right? It sounds like what's going on with him. So, I mean, that can have many reasons, right? But one reason that it could be would be that they, they kind of entered what we call the fear-shame downward spiral. I mean, she's probably now a little bit concerned, a little bit afraid that... that that they break up or something, right? And yeah. she doesn't get back to that, to that love. So, so what's going on for 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 males and females? But I'm a guy, right? So from a male perspective, you know, when when we when we find a woman attractive, and we want to be with her and have sex with her, right? There there are actually certain hormones that get released in our body. So there's the testosterone goes up, the dopamine goes up, and dopamine is like like adrenaline, right, and norepinephrine. So we get really excited, we're attentive, we think about her all the time, uh, you know, and, and and so this is where we want to spend a lot of time with her and it's like a drug, right? It's yeah. like we get addicted to her. And so when, when then the, the relationship matures, you know, these hormones in, in, in the man, you know, go, go down and and that's where, where women then often notice a change. Like you used to bring me flowers, you texted me five times a day, you know, you had ideas of going out together and now you're more focused on your work again and hanging out with your friends and I. But but for the man, this is sort of like mission accomplished, right? I I have her now, yeah. so I no longer have to show and, and and I mean that's a little bit evolutionary, right? When yeah. when Usually then the woman got pregnant and our job was to provide and to protect. Yeah. Right? And I guess that feels then frustrating when, when in our modern age, right, the, the woman feels he's withdrawing. So, like, during a situation like this, um, what would be the best advice to sort of distance yourself? Would that no. make him feel like, you know, like I'm losing something? No, no. So, so, no. Work? So, so what's what's important to understand there is that when she then says, "Oh, you you no longer bring me flowers. We don't spend time together. You're no longer as romantic as you were at the beginning." To understand how he hears that, and he hears that as as a criticism, right? That he's not good enough, and he feels like, "Well, I'm I'm doing all I can here, right?" And and. And he goes into a, a response of shame, of of not being good enough. Right? So, and what he hears from her is that she's nagging him, right? She's kind of like, uh, yeah. and 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 often he thinks then, well, she has a problem, and 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 I have to fix that problem, right? So, so first she's kind of complaining, then he tries to fix the solution, right? Okay, I'll I'll text you tomorrow or. You know, why don't you, I give you some money, why don't you buy, buy you some flowers or something like that. And then she feels like she is not getting it. And, you know, kind of like, I guess I have to repeat it over and over. Right? Yeah. And that, that basically, again, he hears that as criticism. She wants more connection. And, and then he withdraws 
into his cave, right? I mean, nobody wants to then come to their uh, partner, right? And the first thing you hear is like, why are you late? Why didn't you text me? Why didn't you do that, yeah. right? Because then specifically male specifically, they withdraw, right? Yeah. And then when they, when they come out of their cave, right? The, the woman may then even say, where were you, right? Why didn't you tell me where you're going and why you're hanging out with your friends and not with me, right? And actually I can, I can show you that in, 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 in here in the book, right? There's, it's like a, a real downward spiral, right? Where, where people then, when, when he comes up, you know, back from the cave, he's shaming him. And I don't know where they are in, in, in their relationship. So they might still be up here somewhere, right? But if this continues, that, that she gets more and more frustrated, which is totally understandable, right? Yes. And she wants to reconnect with him and, and kind of asks what she wants from him or specifically comparing is always difficult for males, right? Look at your other friend, right? He's so nice to his girlfriend and attentive and your servant is kind of withdrawn and it, it isn't like it was at the beginning, you know, man, then, you know, again, go into this pulling back. And so it, it has the, the opposite effect of what she actually wants. Yeah. And then when they go further down, he may even get angry and say, what the hell do you want from me? You know, I'm doing everything I can. Why are you such a bitch or whatever, right? Depending, or he becomes pass passive aggressive. Yeah. Like I'm more a passive aggressive guy. I go like, well, if I'm not good enough for you, right, then, you know, why don't you find somebody else? And even though I, I want a relationship and I want to connect, right, but I also don't know how to deal with my shame, then I become passive aggressive. And then, you know, she may become what we call emasculating, sort of like really being down on him and yeah. taking away his manhood, right? You're such a wimp, you're such a weak guy, you have no idea how to treat women, you will never have a girlfriend, right? If you're that way, like they're really putting him down. And that's in the end, right? And they're probably not there yet where then men often cheat, right? They find another woman who admires them and looks up to them and you're such a great guy. You know, every woman would be happy to, to have you, right? And you're like, yeah, here is somebody who likes me. Yeah. And she may become emotionally unfaithful. So yeah, women often don't think about that when they talk bad about their partner with specifically other males, right? Or, or other people and share things that they don't even share with their intimate partner, right? That's also a form from being unfaithful. So there is sexual infidelity or cheating and emotional infidelity and cheating. And that's where the relationship crashes. So that, that's the description of the problem. That's very interesting. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that really happens. I see it happening in my relationships and mm -hmm. my friends' relationships where's, where there's this constant yeah. um, nagging and the constant going back in and then coming back out and not meeting those expectations and yeah. okay so i see the problem now but <laughs> yeah. i don't know the solution to this so yeah so the solution to that is to understand first right that he's going into this shame response and what we men long most for in in a relationship right is that we get appreciated that we get affirmed that we get admired and so instead of coming with a, with a demand or a criticism, right, or a comparison, it's always good to first say, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that you're working so hard, right? And, and that's something I admire in you. But sometimes, you know, I miss a little bit the connection we used to have, you know? Yeah. Do you have any suggestions how we maybe can uh, become more romantic so you leave it leave it to him, right? Or you say, I really like that you have so many friends and, and you're a popular guy, you know? But sometimes I would like to spend a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with you, you know? And you don't even have says as we used to do, right? Because we're so sensitive to this like slight criticism, yeah. right? And so it's better to say, you know, do you have any uh, suggestions for uh, having a little quality time together? Yeah. And and so be very careful right, to, uh, about any criticism and be uh, abundant, right? really generous 
yeah. with with pointing out some some positive qualities. Yeah. And and I know that may sound a little awkward at be, at the beginning, but I often say, you know, do you want to be right or do you want to be loved? Right? And, and sometimes women say, well, if he would really like me, if he would really love me, he would do that uh, by himself. But but we often need the, you know some encouragement. Yeah. And you could even say, you know, I really loved it when we went to the park on Sunday afternoon, or I went in and showed this excitement, right? And you don't even have to say, let's go, I want you to go to the park with me. Right? Just, I really loved it when we were cuddling, watching a movie, you know, going shopping, whatever, you know, you enjoyed uh, doing with him. And just do this for a week and see, and see what happens. On the other side, you know, for males, I tell them, you see, when you withdraw, when you no longer listen as actively, and I know at the beginning it was easy because you were in love, right? And now you you just love the person, but you're no longer so much in love, is to understand that when you withdraw or even show any weaknesses or something like that, she has a, like an evolutionary fear response. Oh, my protector, my provider, is no longer really connecting with me. And so instead of you leaning back because you don't want to hear the, the criticism, the nagging, the complaining, the shaming, right? You lean into the relationship and say, oh, no, she's missing me. She wants the attention from me. And you say, you know, what's going on? You know, share what, what do you feel right now? What is going on? How can we, how can we connect more deeply? And, and instead of you know, leaning back, you lean into the relationship. Let me hold you, okay? Yeah. okay. What More do you want to do together? And, and, and just connection, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm really so excited to be with you, right? And you're the love of my life or whatever it is to aff affirm the relationship. Yeah. You know, the woman should doesn't can say that too, but it's more important to acknowledge something he does, right? Okay. Really nice shirt you were wearing. You know, thanks for texting me a few days ago, right? Mm. Instead of saying, why was it a few days ago? I said, thanks for sending me the text message. I really liked it when you did this. You know, it would be great if you could do that again. Right? And then he goes like, oh, I'm this great guy who she really loves and appreciates. Wow. So tell your friend and then yes. we'll see what happens after a week when, okay. when she really just constantly affirms him and praises him. Yeah. I'm gonna mention this and I'm gonna your advice was really good about it like I'm gonna talk about this with my friend and I I really understood what you were trying to say and the things that I felt in my in my relationships and mm. my friends and and how like we as human beings like males and females how how different we are in the way that we respond and I don't think we realize that when we're talking to the other, other gender yeah. and realizing that and bringing compassion in it and bringing empathy in it really makes a change in the relationship absolutely and you just yeah. inspired me to yeah. think like that so I can't wait so to much. hear how it goes thank yeah. you thank Thanks. you for your talk